Hello friends, my name is Prasad. So today I'll give you a brief introduction about SharePoint. Also, we will learn how you're going to customize a SharePoint portal using SPFX component. So let's get into it. So if you are new to the SharePoint, I will recommend you to check the capabilities of SharePoint because SharePoint is you can say it's a creating a uh, it's helped you creating multiple sites within the within your organization level so it is connected with your active directory where all the users are able to access this the site and collaborate and there are a lot of capabilities they can use the app, publish the app, do the customization, share the documentation and based on the department they create the site collection, give a permission and they create the multiple site collection and sites within a minute, single click alright so these are the things that SharePoint will provide you but here I'm not going to give you each and every detail what SharePoint able to do it so but the interesting thing is what we are going to learn today we are just see what we can do with SharePoint how we going to customize this mission right so if you are eager to learn let's quickly start so if you know about the learn.microsoft.com en us slash SharePoint slash dev you will be able to see the site where you can see the how you're going to customize the SharePoint right a lot of things but before going ahead we need to set up a tenant it's called SharePoint tenant so in order to do that if you have a Visual Studio subscription you go to the my subscription you are able to see you are able to if you have a Microsoft subscription you will get the 150 monthly credit and also you have this uh, developer subscription e5 license you can activate this license once it is activated you have this uh, called uh, developer program where you can create click start and create the new site collection uh, sorry create the new tenant as you can create the number of pc users and license user and then you can do your uh, development right so if you click here to go to the subscription you are able to see the site collection this is admin where you can find all the apps so also like you can feed apps admin so let me quickly show you this uh, this is the microsoft admin if you click this link the admin you can redirect it to the here and you will see all the these are the dummy users and at the end here there you will see the SharePoint where you can uh, connect to the SharePoint and here you will click to the home you are able to see the SharePoint all the what are the active users and the performance of your portal right and the space and everything and you will see these are the site the active sites and some of the team size and there are different different templates and if you click any of the site this is the root site so the home site this is how it looks like so if you want to customize it so you can click edit and here you have a capability to add your those template and three template two template once you done you have these all the web parts right and so guess what if you want to customize it you can create your own section here and then you able to put your custom uh, web part or the customizer there are a different different we will get we will go through and then you able to click here and you can add it and you will see you can go to the property you can update it you can delete it i mean the sky is the limit right so if you're going to delete it there is a pane you can change the setting as well and this thing you can able to do it in the web part as well right so this 
if you want to know how to do it let quickly show you so first so we are go through the what is the site collection and everything and so basically this is the site collection and in site collection we create the sub site of it and the top site collection we give the permission to the top site collection based on that user can access the site collection and uh, and uh, the site collection is the itself all the sub there is a permission where we can inherit the permission from the site collection and there are a lot of things but we are here now to customize the solution so so let's quickly see what we have so if you go here the sharepoint framework we have this framework and here the same thing it did so get it started if you see he mentioned here we need to set up the tenant the similarly what i mentioned here and then we have uh, once we have this tenant available we can set up our development environment right so we will go through so in order to do that we will use install the node.js and everything in our system so once up and running we have the first components called as a part so web part basically a page where we can yeah, so for example if let us show you this is a web part right where we can show the data into the site right and we have this customizer as well which way we can put some of we want to inject something globally for example the header we want to hide this or we can put our custom CSS throughout the site collection so in order to do that we need to use the application customizer so so this is a web part so we can want to create edit update some of the operation and do some custom logic and create some new uh, pages custom solution so we can add into that solution in our SharePoint page and we have the endpoint where we can write all the logic based on whatever you need and we have the capability or all the APIs available to connect with the SharePoint and also we have a third party you can use a third party API as well so so this is how we're going to create it so it's mentioned everything so but this is related to the web part once it is done we can set up the properties as i have already mentioned here if you go edit these are the property so this is what we uh called here if you see so when we're going to deploy it and uh, we have this property pane so we can customize the properties here these are the properties to do loop properties and we and we, we can we can update and based on that we can make a dynamic that part right and the other one we have this extensions extension is basically we have this application customizer added a script and page or html element trace or extend the custom rendering and we have other field customizer and the command set and the form customizer so the field customizer so application customizer we already know if you want to add the use case would be if you want to globally add some of the css so it will available to all the site collection we can use as a customizer also we also for the portal uh, tenant level we need to add the uh, i mean header footer or we can hide the search menu something like this and we need to add some of the custom script so whenever the page is loaded it will trigger every time so this is called a custom field customizer if you go to the list so basically the sharepoint we have the list and library so if we go to the site content we'll be able to see all the list and libraries right so these are the event list and we can create the new list right based on the needs and there are different different types of needs so right now we are i'm clicking the calendar this is a calendar list right so let me move one step back let me show you the documentation the field system is basically if you wanted to modify some of the rendering of your fields for example this is a name name of the list you instead of displaying the name you 
displaying the fancy way like to uh, um, to any CSS rather than showing the image here rather than showing the link you can show the render as an image into the one into the particular set so that's what's called the field customizer so the setting is applied to the particular field and the third one is called the command set so basically command set we have these commands we can create our own commands right so this is called the command sets if you want to add custom commands you can use the command set right and the last is form customizer right based on the con content we can override the default behavior so if you want as i'm saying uh, let me go back one step and i will show you the style library right? no not the style library i will create a new custom library add an app quickly and i'll show you what we can do here oh, oh sorry we go here click new test and here i will say blank list test list create so it will create a blank list here all right so so if you see if i click new it's a default it has its own default form right if you want to be override this form we will use this form customizer so that's it for today i hope you like it so this is what i have i have covered everything most of the stuff so we have started with how we going to what are the share point and what uh, what is it the use of the subscription how we going to uh developer would so once you have the subscription you can create your tenant and the tenant we create a site as uh, uh, tenant uh, we have this sharepoint admin where we go to the admin center in the admin center we have this called sharepoint lane when you click the sharepoint lane we have the sites we can create our own sites based on the template whether it is a communication site and team site so once it is done we go to we have our new site collection up and running right and then i will i go through with this the type of the web part and web section essential so thank you everyone if you like it so i will catch you in the next section bye